How's it going, you guys? Um, I'm back. I'm going to be redoing my old video on how to do heads blink. How to make them blink on Grail using GIMP. So the version I'm using is GIMP 2.8. If you just download it, it's probably going to be the new one. If you want the old one, um, just look up GIMP 2.8 download. Uh, you're going to find the old stable downloads and just download it directly here. Blah, blah, blah. So let's get right into it. So I just got this random head that I'm going to use. Um, I like these little block square eyes. They're really simple, easy to use. These top three are what I'm going to be working on. Um, first up, really simple stuff. You're going to want, for all black and white colors, you don't want full or pure black or pure white. You're going to want kind of close, not exact. Just like that. Um, that's because uh, in game it's going to be transparent and you don't want that. If you have that on your head, it'll be um, rejected when you upload it. So try not to have that. Um, basic tools, my settings, obviously. Uh, for the brush or the pencil, you're going to want to have this one here. To choose them, you choose this little box. For the size, we want one. For the eraser, we're going to want size one as well. And we're going to want to click hard edge. You can scroll down and click hard edge. Next tool, we have the bucket. Um, you want to scroll down and click fill hole selection. For the color select, we're going to want the threshold to be at 1. So after you've done that, pretty much ready to do this. Um, we'll start off using the pencil. For the layers and brushes, this is not going to be background. Obviously, it's going to say whatever your, the name of your file is. Um, but to name it, to change these, you're going to double click, and then you can type in whatever it is. I like to call it background. Um, we're going to call it 3000 MS in parentheses. You're going to want to have it exactly how I, how I do it there. Um, you can make it longer or shorter depending on the number. Uh, 3000 MS is just three seconds in game. So to start off, um, we're going to go up to layer to do the new, to do the next step of the animation. We're going to go to new layer. Um, let's start off with you can call it a frame or a layer, doesn't matter, what, whatever you want. Um, I like to do them frames. So I'm going to call this one frame number one, and then it's going to be 120 milliseconds. Again, the same thing with the background. You can do it you know, longer, shorter, however you want to do it. 120 is a good solid, good, good solid number for that. So now that we got our first frame done, we're going to want to go back to the background and pick colors off the background. So I'm going to pick this little shade here. All right. Go back to the frame. And we're going to start taking off the top of, of this eye for all three. To pick colors, you're going to use hold down control and left click. Uh, make sure you're on the background when you do this. Otherwise, if you do it on frame, you're going to get that pure black. So make sure you're on background. We can see down in the square in the bottom left, the colors will change. So, yeah, you're going to want that skin color, obviously. Um, pretty much, we're just going to get rid of this top black line and put it one line down. Control Z is how you, like, take back, you know, redo what you just did so I'm just gonna take another color from the background um, you want this skin color here I'm gonna go back to the frame make sure you click on the frame you want to work on you're gonna have to do that every time otherwise it won't show up so we're gonna click on frame one obviously because we're working on frame one get rid of it like so And then go back to background, 
grab that black, which is still there. See, I'm I'm on background. I have the frame. This eye is just showing you um, what frames are present. So that black is still there. I can still pick that up if I'm on the background layer. So I got it. I'll go back to frame one, and then I add it on like so. Now it's on. So now we would go on to a our next layer. We'll call it layer two. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, go to the background, grab the color you need, change it. Extremely simple, just repetitive. Sometimes you might need to do it a little differently. Just remember to keep keep going back to whatever layer you want to be on. I'm gonna go in the background, grab that black, boom, bam, and we are done with that layer. So now his eyes are almost closed. So for the next one, we are gonna be about halfway. Frame three. Now we're gonna have his eyes totally closed. We're going to go back to background, get that skin color. You don't have to do the eyes every time. Just make sure you're on that exact layer. Got to get rid of the black. Like that. Go back to background. I know that that black is still there, so I'm going to grab that. Go back to frame three. Put it on. Okay, so now that it, now that you're at this point, it gets a lot easier. It's a lot of copying and pasting. We're gonna want to go back to how his eyes were open just a little bit to where they're up here. So we're gonna use the eyes to find that layer. Oh, I should make a new layer first. I always forget to do that. So we're gonna need this one for. I think it's five total for this simple animation if you get really good at it you can do it really really fast um especially a lot of copy and paste why did this change to three i want that five um this is supposed to be th three. Oh, i guess it's four then huh organization is key <laughs> so um now that we're at this point we're just gonna go down use the eyes we're gonna grab this one you can use the rectangle tool, like hold down left click, drag, right click. We're gonna do edit, and then copy visible. You always. All right. So after you take that stuff, um, you copy it. We're gonna go onto here. Go back to the rectangle tool. Pretty much just paste. I mean, you can use Control V. It's just the fast way to do it. You can drag it around using left click. To do opposite side, we're going to pretty much do the same thing. But instead of that, I'm going to right click, go down to layer, transform, and flip horizontally. So you pretty much just do that for every, every time you want to do the other side. Just control V, layer transform flip horizontally it's just that every time now that we have now we have that done so pretty much the same thing to make a new layer number five we're going to use the eyes to find it it's this one here we're going to copy that eye copy visible not copy because we're on a frame not the background. I'm gonna go to frame five, paste it on there, do the hand the whole spiel again, layer, transform, flip horizontally, just like so. Oops. Alright. So now it's done. Um, we don't have to do like the eyes 
fully open because after frame 5, the background comes back. It's a big loop. Think of it as like it starts here, ends here, but comes back. Um, if we use the eyes to manually see our animation, just gonna click. It'll just look like that. Now you're done. It's it's really that simple, honestly. To see your animation, uh, you're gonna want to go down to filters animation playback so this little pop-up will appear a little window your animation is going to be on these top three um to look at it you just press play watch these top three and there we have it so there he is he blinks and we're done um i'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, i hope this helped you um, I hope this helped you figure out, you know, how to do this kind of stuff. Um, if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, you know, leave them down. Um, I'm going to put my email in the description so that you can send me stuff um, over email. You know, comments, blah, blah, blah. I usually do work for free. When it's like simple stuff like this, is do it for free. Uh, I mean, honestly, it doesn't take very long at all. So, all right. So, uh, th again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.